They call him Jesus. He came to love. He'll let forgive. He lived and died to buy my pardon. An empty grave is there to prove my Savior. Okay, and I, this is the middle one, and I think I'm going to put it like this, but I want to do something with the top up here, so I don't want it like that, and I think I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to redo this, because I'm right here at the curve, and that's not a good thing, so I'm going to take, and Go around this way and this. Now I'm going to bring this one down so I don't uh, see what I can do here. So I can have a, a part of the. That'll work. And I'm going to do this one right here the same identical way. And that one over there. This is the middle one. Yeah, I'll have to scoot it up so I can be able to get to it. I can't put a needle in it. I've got to put a needle in it. There we go. Okay, now this one. Got to be able to put... Get it right. Because if we don't, it ain't going to turn out right. And I think that right there is what we're going to do to these. And now the next one that I am going to do is these right up here. Like how this one right here is going in. It's going to go in from this side, and it's going to point into this one like these are pointing into this one. And these are going to point that way. Alright, I think I'm going to have to refix this so I can get to my sewing. Alright, I am on my very last roll of right in here. And I have been taking it and going this way with it, and it's worked out pretty good. So I'm on my last one, and I figured that I would try my best to sew it down. And hopefully, it'll work just fine. And this will be the last one on this quilt and I like this one here better because it did go a whole lot more quicker on it I think it turned out pretty good and I don't know what to say I'm trying to keep things on the up and up until my uh my nine months is up you gotta watch what you say because the algorithms will pick it up then you're in trouble which that's crazy you ought to have the free speech but you don't I would say nine chances out of ten that most people, when they actually realize what the internet is doing, they'll probably end up getting rid of it and throwing everything away. Um, I, I tell you, I, I, sometimes I'm like, I want to get rid of it. But Rick keeps me going. You guys keep me going. 
I'm doing it. So that's what I'm doing. Keeping on the going. Alright, now I got a bunch of stitches right in here. And I don't want a whole bunch of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one. I'm going to go along my line there. And I'm going to go in between. And I'm not going to let it go through the back. But I am going to let it go through the front. Like that. And that way that kind of like uh, gets rid of some of them stitches and it's not doubled there. And that way we can keep on going. And I think this right here really did work out a whole lot better. But I do like the way that I did do these other ones. They're not the same. And I think they're going to go out pretty good. Sorry about the shaking, but... Kind of can't help that. <coughs> I gotta go get Rick at 10 because he gets off at 10 o'clock. Which, that's good. I'm glad he does. I, don't, I just rather him be home. And he said he'd rather be home. But he's going to work as long as he can. And do as long as he can. Because that's just the way he, that he is. And I know his daughters are the same way they like to work. Which, that's good. I have got no problem with working. And I, I think you ought to be happy at what kind of job you have. Because if you're not happy at your job, your life is going to be miserable. And nobody wants to live a miserable life. Everybody wants to have a better life, a happy life. The Constitution says that you, you know, you have the right to pursue happiness. And of course, a lot of people don't really know what the Ten Commandments, I mean, not Ten Commandments, the Constitution actually says our founding fathers and all I think that um, they did the constitution because they knew what was uh, what was going to be happening in, in, in our lives but of course, you know, they'll turn it to where it reflects what they want. And not, not the uh, way it should be. The Bible says it turns it upside down. So, alright. See how quick that was? I'm going to tie this one off. And call it quits. Let's see how long it took to do that one right there. Six minutes and 42 seconds is what it shows. Alright. We'll be right back. Alright, let's take this thing down. Because we are completely done with it. Put my chair back up where it needs to go and be done with it. Let's see. Put these back down in here. They will.
ready to go the next time. Now I'm happy with the way that this turned out. <clears throat> My fingers are sore though. Where <clears throat> I take the needle and I stick it right there. Trying to get it out. But hey, it'll be okay. We'll be fine. Alright. Now, I got a whole roll here I need to get out. On account of I uh, had to pin this down to make it level. I don't know why I come this right here and it want to come level, but that's the way it went. I'm putting them over here in my pin cushion. Alright, so let's get this one. I'm going to go ahead and take these out. See, I need my uh, jar. Where is it at? Uh, oh no. Alright, let me see if I can't. Oh, right here it is. Right here. That works better, way much better. Alright, let's see if we can't get these. Can't wait to get this quilt completely done. I think it's going to be a pretty quilt. And I don't say that in a bad way. I'm saying that in a, I can't wait to see what it looks like. God, that's pretty neat, you know? I'm gonna go ahead and wait on the, do them other ones here in a little bit. I wanna get this. You're okay, girl. Get these off first. So we can't take. There we go. She uh, we were gonna take her with us when we went down to the fabric store today and she was so scared to get in a car because of Rick's jacket this dog is scared of everything it's crazy the way that this animal does alright one more layer <laughs> and we'll be done on now. Don't be doing this now. Do you know? Alright, we're going to go lay it out in the bedroom. Let's see what it looks like. Alright, I got a dog in there on the bed, so can't lay it out on the bed because I'm not going to disturb him. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to cut all this down. So we could put a binding on it. And so I want to put it down on the bed in there. So I can lay it down flat in there. I gotta get okay. Oh, that'll work. Alright, so let's see what we could do about cutting this down. I don't want you doing that. Uh, gotta have it all flat. There we go. Now it's got that part. Gotta be careful because I got my sewing machine stuff over here and it is most indefinitely going to be in the way if I don't watch I'm not for sure what type of 
siding I want to put on this. But we'll come up with something. here all right let's throw this over here all right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and finish this and then I'm gonna find I'm gonna take and sew right here and then sew right in between these when I get done so I'm gonna get that done maybe Okay, I'm going to get started on this quilt. And Now, if you want the uh, binding on the front, you start in the back. If you want it in the back, you start it in the front. So, i got a whole big old long strip. Let's see if we can't get this out here. Get this started. So I can get it done. Put that there to hold it. Get my strip here. And get it ready. Now I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to go up some. And now I'm going to try to slide. This down. Oh, what's all that? Oh no. There we go. Got it out. I don't want that to start off as a mess. But knowing me right now, it probably will. Alright, we're going to go a couple of stitches back just to make it hold. So I can play with all this and make sure we get it straight. Alright. Now we're going to go around.
here I am now here at the end and I'm going to cut oh part of this right here off okay and now I'm going to go past this one right about there Now, I'm going to take this one and I'm going to lay it down sideways like this. And then put it down here. Then I'm going to lay that one down. And that one. Try to straighten it out. And go. Alright, now... We're going to turn it over and we're going to start playing with it and putting it in the back. I think this has turned out pretty good. Don't have... Okay. Fold it down. <clears throat> And we're going to take off backwards. And let's see if I can't get that out. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, here we go. Forward. And talk it don't matter okay I got it done and I put my uh, thing here see there I got a pen on my mouth all right so now I want some what size it is we're gonna go ahead and do this right here first on this side. <coughs> I'm sticking my pen in here like this. And then I'm going to go down here. Stick it to where it's like that. Measure it out. we got 40 inches. So it's 40 by whatever. That's what we can do about doing this one. things around so that we can see it. So how does that work? Uh, I don't want to put that there. there. Okay. So, let's see. I'll do it this way. <coughs> I think it really turned out really nice. I really do. And see here, I sewed it down on two sides. Right here and right here. Alright, let's turn this over and let's look at the back of it. It's probably not that great. Well, there it is. 
I think that looks pretty good though. I got a bubble right here. <coughs> but under, ooh, look at all this. But it'll be okay. I'm not going to cry over it. I had trouble with it because of the sewing machine. I can't lay it flat. It always, like when I'm sewing it, I'm always having to fight it from going down. Alright, we'll see you all later. Well, look who got it. I'll see who got it. Why, well, buddy got it. You're okay, buddy. If you would like to donate to Poor Man's Sewing, come down here to Poor Man's Sewing. Then come up here and look for About. And right here you can donate to the channel. And every donation is really appreciated. We thank you very much and I hope you have a blessed day.